When firing a kiln, it's very important to protect your kiln shelving with kiln wash to protect it against glaze drips that might form uh, during the firing. I am using Primo Primer, which is a product by Hotline. It's actually designed for glass fusing, but uh, you could also use just a normal kiln wash at any ceramic supplier. Primo Primer is actually a lot um, more fine particled. Um, you may have to reapply it more frequently, but I do like it because it doesn't flake as much and it's not as chunky. Now, here I'm showing the preparation before I put on the kiln wash, and I am just chiseling off any um, spots where maybe glaze has dripped. Uh, these are my kiln shelves that I use at school, and um, whenever you have a glaze drip, you got to get it off. Oh, and here I was showing eye protection. Always make sure you're wearing eye protection, eye protection, some goggles, because pieces might come up. Here this little grinder scrubber type thing is found in the masonry section of Home Depot. Um, it's great uh, for being an abrasive surface to kind of get off the um, chunks or flakes or loose particles of kiln wash. Um, I always go over that. Um, it's very time consuming but it's it's well worth it. You kind of need to do that. Um, Again, the, the old kiln wash that I used to use, the normal ceramic kiln wash, would flake more. Always make sure that you apply kiln wash when it's very thin, as you will see here in a minute. There, I'm just sweeping off the debris. And here I have a little metal scraper that I'm using. The scraper edge just kind of gets underneath there and lifts up anything else that looked like it, it might be ready to come off. And that's just a steel scraper that I'm using there. And then the next step is you're going to be kind of wetting the kiln shelf in, uh, in preparation for brushing it on. So here I've got a nice damp sponge. I'm sponging over, I'm getting off the loose dust, and you can really see where the kiln wash is thinner there or where it's come up entirely. Now the Primo Primer, when you mix it in water, it should be very, very thin. I believe it's a four to one mixture. Uh, kiln wash should also be very, very thin if you're using regular kiln wash. The Primo Primer happens to be purple when you put it on, but it will fire white after it has been uh, bisque fired. Now typically, you want to put on probably two to three thin coats, and quite often you might overlap them in um, different directions. Now this is one where it has only had the Primo Primer on it, but it does need to be reapplied after every few firings because it will um, kind of thin out in the firing. And here I'm just uh, reapplying it, putting on uh, two to three coats again. Um, this particular shelf had just a nasty glaze kind of uh, flake off during the firing, so this requires quite a bit of chiseling. Oh, here I have patties. A patty, I just use thin stoneware patties to help protect the shelf, so if something does drip, you can even see the vapor ring that was left. And you can see there was a rectangular patty on that shelf, but the glaze was so bad, it just flaked off everywhere. So I have to get all of these little terrible uh, chunky pieces of glaze off and I do have kiln wash underneath it but it still was very uh, stubborn. Um, and next once it's all off then I will sponge it and then I'm ready to reapply with the Primo Primer with the kiln wash. And again a nice thin coat overlapping your uh, your layers making sure that you're you're getting it on there but thinly. This is a raw shelf that has not been fired yet with kiln wash. So this one will have its first application and it takes a little bit more when you're first applying it. So again, this might be two, three, four coats on the uh, first time that you've uh, fired a kiln shelf. Uh, note that I'm keeping it about a half an inch away from the edge. Mm -hmm.